A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears, but boy, they bore. When I'm thinking about you, who no, no, no. I've been thinking about you, you no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of From House to Home, which is a series where I take you along with me as I decorate and give you tours of each room in our new house. So this is going to be episode five and it's going to be a tour of the master bedroom. And I'm just so thrilled to be sharing this video with you guys. Now, when I did the initial walkthrough of the house, I'm not sure how well you guys got to see this area because when I went back and watched it, I just didn't feel like I showed you guys the space as well as I could have but we have gotten a lot done to this space um, we painted we changed out the light fixtures we put our TVs up and as you guys can tell like I have really started decorating so this room I feel is pretty much complete there are a few things that I want to do to it like add a few more pictures and just some little odds and ends but other than that this room is pretty much it's pretty much how I want it to be and I'm so so happy with the outcome of it. So pretty much the theme that we went with in this bedroom is just kind of like a sexy romance vibe. I just really wanted it to be just really nice and sexy. Um, I know a lot of people when you get to decorating the bedroom you don't want to make it too too girly because you gotta think like your husband, your boyfriend, your man is going to be sharing that room with you. So I kind of wanted to keep it you know sexy and flirty without you know taking it overboard and I feel that I did that pretty well because Colton did help me pick out some of the pieces in here so it has both of our style I feel like to a certain extent now when it comes to men I just don't feel like they know that much when it comes to decorating so you just kind of have to take their ideas and make them think that they really help like um Colton he did pick the paint in here so um that was one thing that he wanted to do so I was like okay I'll let him pick the paint I kind of had to guide him because he is colorblind so that was a tough tough task but I actually really really love this paint color it's from Sherwin Williams and I believe it's called gauntlet gray if that's wrong then I will annotate it but I'm pretty sure that's the name and it's just a really really gorgeous color and I think it goes well with our theme and it just kind of flows with everything that we have going on right now now I am the type of person that I change bedding out a lot so when I do my next video that probably Probably won't be the bedding back there because I just I get bored so I change things out often but without further ado I am going to stop rambling and we're going to go ahead and jump into the roof tour <laughs> with this little space right here and this is just our sitting area and I wanted to make it really nice and cozy um, so we decided to put our TV on the wall now the previous owners they didn't have their TV right here it was actually where our dresser is which is what I'll show you guys in a second but um yeah we wanted to put our TV on the wall right here that way we could see it at our sitting area and then also from our bed at first I was thinking that it was gonna be a little bit too far from us to see from the bed but it's actually perfect and this is a 50 inch TV so it's pretty big and it fits perfectly on that wall and underneath it we just have this little electric fireplace that we purchased from Amazon and I already had this um, if you watched my um, fall decor home tour that I did um, at my old house you will know that I already had this so I thought that it would be perfect to put right there because it fits that space just so perfectly and it just pulls everything together because the fireplace with the TV above it like it just really pulled everything together and right beside the TV and fireplace we have a door that leads to the screened in porch which is really really convenient I love having that door right there so the bench that we have in this little sitting area is from overstock.com and I absolutely love it I just think it's so cute and perfect and it flows really nicely with the other furniture pieces that we have in the room and I 
I just decided to throw a few throw pillows on there just to make it a little bit comfortable and cozy. Now it's not the most comfortable to sit on, but we're not using it too much. Like we only use it occasionally, maybe in the mornings when we're watching the news or drinking coffee, but it's not like unbearably uncomfortable. It's just not plush or anything like that. It's just a pretty firm, firm sit. So if you like something that's a little bit firmer, then you will definitely enjoy this. And right beside the bench, I just have this little filing cabinet and we keep all of our receipts and bills that we've paid because both of our jobs require for us to um, have 1099s and write things off. So we have to keep all of our receipts. So I like to keep them in there so it doesn't get piled up on the dresser or anything like that. So this little table and the fur rug are both from Amazon and you guys probably recognize them because they were in our living room at the old place and that little bouquet of flowers I think it came from TJ Maxx and we also decided to hang a chandelier right here when we moved in it was actually two ceiling fans but I just think it's absolutely beautiful and we got this chandelier from overstock.com so here's our bed that I love so much. I had been eyeing this for quite some time at a local furniture store and I finally got around to getting it and I just think it is perfect. It's like a, the bed built for a king and queen, right? So yeah, I fell in love with this bed. I love it so much. Now I do think that they have it on Wayfair and a couple of other places online but I just so happened to get mine um, locally but it's just a beautiful, beautiful bed. Um, so we decided to add a bench at the end and it matches the bed um it was some type of little combo that they had going on when you bought the bed so we did add a bench and this is just where we sit to put on our shoes and different things like that and as you guys can see on each end of the bed we have end tables and those end tables are from z gallery yeah those are from z gallery and literally you guys it took me months to get those like i don't know why it takes forever to get things from their warehouse but it took me such a long time and i actually got them during black friday and it was a really really good deal i actually got the whole set during black friday because it came with end tables a dresser and then also like another like a um, more dresser and I wanted to talk about the bedding a little bit so the actual quilt is from Amazon and then the pillows I got those from Z gallery as well and I just think they're so perfect originally before we moved in the house when we were trying to figure out different paint colors Colton wanted to paint the walls plum and I was like, no, honey, like we cannot paint the walls plum, but I will compromise. So I decided to get a plum quilt and I just think it looks beautiful with the gray walls. Really, really gorgeous. And it's perfect for fall time. And right here beside Colton's nightstand, we just have Piglet's little bed. And this is where he sleeps most of the night until he decides to jump in bed with us, which is Oh my gosh, the most uncomfortable thing ever because when he's asleep, he literally weighs like 100 pounds and it's no moving him. But yeah, this is where he sleeps for the most part. And then this is the fixture that we have over the bed and it's just a ceiling fan that we got from Home Depot. So against this wall, we have a dresser and it's also from Z Gallery because this was an entire set. Now this dresser is Colton's and he keeps his underclothes in it, socks, underwear, shirts, gym shorts, pajama pants, different things like that. Now the mirror that's on top of the dresser, it's actually from Wayfair because this dresser did not come with a mirror, but I thought it would look a little bit better having one there. So I found that there. And on top of the dresser, we just have a few things. We have across a couple of pictures of ourselves and then the Lotus candle holders. And then we have this little tray. And usually this is where I like to keep our mail and it just helps us keep up with our bills and once they're paid, we file them in that cabinet that I showed you guys earlier. So yeah, I kind of like to keep this simple in case we ever need to put anything on top of it. I know some of you are like, what? Simple? That is not simple. But um, yeah, I like to have a few things on there, but not too much. So against the wall going into the bathroom and the closet, I just have my vanity from um, Pier 1 and it's a part of the Hayworth collection. This actually used to be in my beauty room, but I outgrew it. So I decided to put it in here and pretty much I just sit here whenever I'm putting on my moisturizer, um, after I get out the shower. Um, 
whenever I'm putting on my jewelry, just different things like that. And then I also have my jewelry armoire as well, and we're burning twisted peppermint right now. And I know you're thinking, it's not winter, why are you burning that? But it just smells so great. And then above the armoire, we just have more wedding pictures of ourselves. And I think that frame is from TJ Maxx. And the flower sitting on top of the vanity is also from TJ Maxx and the chair is from TJ Maxx as well. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, I just so have to get it because it's tufted as well and just matches perfectly with the rest of the furniture. This is the side of the bed that I sleep on, which I guess is obvious since my vanity's on this side. But um, I was going to do bigger lamps on the vanities, but I didn't want something that was going to be too big because we do really utilize our nightstands. So on top, I just have like a planner, a daily devotional, my iPad, a Starbucks cup, and then a glass of water that I guess from last night or something. So um, yeah, we really utilize our nightstands, so I didn't want to do something too large and I don't like to keep like too many knickknacks on there or anything because like I said we're like always using them and normally I would have my laptop on there as well and I just love these nightstands because they actually have like this little pull out tray and it's really convenient like if you need an extra if you need extra space for your laptop or anything so I really really like these nightstands they're really big and roomy and then right here is my dresser this is where I keep my pajamas bras underclothes undergarments anything like that I keep in this dresser and I really love these dressers because the drawers are deep so you can get a lot of clothes in them if you need to um so yes yeah, just a really nice dresser and then I just have this mr. and miss Pearson sign that we also use on our wedding day I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it right there that's why I didn't like actually hang the picture on the wall I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that area right now but for now you know it is it's doing the job right now and then to the right of this dresser we just keep our dirty clothes hamper and it is from tj maxx so this is the doorway that leads into the master bathroom and then also the closet and i'm not going to be sharing that today because that's going to be a whole nother video on its own because there's a lot of things that i want to update and share with you guys in that area but i just wanted to show you guys this because i really love this feature um it has a little pocket door and i just thought that was so cute and unique so i just wanted to share that with you guys i also wanted to show you guys the crown molding in this room i think Think it's beautiful over the doorways and like going down the sides of the wall I just think it's so so beautiful and it's a gloomy day outside but you can see the pool and the deck from our room Hey guys so that was the tour of the master bedroom I hope you enjoyed it I know so many of you had requested it so I hope it reached your standards and maybe gave you guys some ideas um, I really really enjoy doing these house to home videos if there's anything else that you guys would like to see a part of this series other than like um, you know actual tours then let me know I definitely want to do like some clean with me videos or organize with me because I just really love doing that type of stuff but I'm not really sure like how to how to categorize it on my channel but there's just so many different things that I want to do as far as like home and lifestyle so um give me any ideas if you have them um let me know what your future plans are for your master bedroom and what it is that you kind of want to do to spruce it up and let's kind of get a little bit of a conversation going below in the comments thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give it a big a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye